Hello there, Dick Benedict here. We're playing Heavenly Sword on Hell difficulty. This is my video guide and walkthrough for the aforementioned title and difficulty. We're currently on 4-1. It is a challenging section entitled Cat and Mouse. So um, we've faced these enemies as Kai. Now we're facing them as Noriko. There's going to be three of them walking towards you at the first. Um, and then down the way at the other end of the... Uh, bridge there should be three more so you don't want to go down there while these guys are still um, walking around because then you'd have to face uh, more than three you'd have to face six at a time so if you're comfortable parrying and you know how to repost well with these guys I would say go for that um, you've got a strong weapon here you've got the heavenly sword um, so you know just keep that stance going for yourself and uh, and get your parries in with the heavenly sword and if you see them attacking with the red um, they usually um, will give you a little bit of an allowance to to dodge out of the way before they actually hit you with the red attack it's it's really fair actually okay and there's specific things that you want to do on this mission to get through it um, as easily as easily as you can I can't um, produce for you all the glyphs for this chapter because I just wasn't able to get them. Um, that guy actually got kicked in the balls. It just didn't um, have the cinematic moment. Okay, so once you finished off the last guy, you want to heft and then throw a course. Don't throw the hammer. It's not strong enough. You need to, you, you need to throw an actual course. So throw the course and then aim it at these guys and try to hit as many of them as possible. You see that I knocked down only one of them. I have knocked down all three and stabbed all three and, and completely trivialized that second wave. So it's possible. Um, try to get at least two though, if you can. Um, but I'm telling you, one time I got all three. Knocked all three of them down, uh, rolled right over to them, uh, downward stab, downward stab, downward stab, dead, move on. Grab a course. So grab this course, throw it to the door, and I'll tell you in a minute why we do that. Um, and then there's a, a glyph jar over here for points and health revivification. Revivification. And then uh, turn the wheel of justice here. And then what we're going to do, um, there's going to be a new enemy here. It's, it's called the Assassins, these female uh, females down there. So you're going to grab a course, heft and throw a course. And what you're going to do is uh, aim at another heavy and so if the heavy was made contact was contacted with that um, if you make contact with the um, the course and not knock a heavy over down there uh, then the heavies will aggro and come down here so that you can fight the heavies down here the uh, assassins won't come down here um, but the thing is see if you see the gate that we opened up in the center of the bridge if you go through there and walk a little bit of distance down the, the walkway the door will shut behind you and then you'll have to fight the heavies and the assassins on the other side of the door there isn't much room and what you should do is isolate enemies as it is so now what we can do is just focus on these four heavies and then um, go down uh, through the gate again and then deal with the assassins we haven't seen the assassins yet um, the assassins are fair um, excuse me, they're they're unfair in a really obvious way because um, when I tell you, you're going to instantly know what I mean. Um, but yeah, throwing courses over here, hefting and throwing courses, very helpful. Um, the assassins do not have much HP. Um, um, they, they primarily do speed stance attacks. They, however, they do heavy stance attacks too. Um, and then when you go to parry them, um, they counterattack your parries. And they give you just a split second to save yourself. So I'm, I, I might do some launches over here. Um, I might not. I can't remember. But um, what happens is, say for instance you're attacking with the speed stance. That is to say with the longsword. You're, you're slicing and dicing with the longsword as it were. Um, so, and you get a counter what's gonna happen is uh, they're going to oh there's also more health over here too should you need it this is this is a hard chapter this is where like the game starts to get increasingly difficult see this 
I was given the prompt for square, and I failed. And I need to tell you what that was all about. So I countered her attack. She countered my counter and gave me the square button to save myself. And it wasn't enough time, I, I don't feel, to press the button. They don't fucking give you enough time. It's a refrain I've, I've said from the very beginning of this game. And I know it's subjective, but you don't get enough time to press the fucking quick time events in this game. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. That's all I'll say about it. That's as angry as I'll get. But I wanted to state my peace. Because I think a person needs to state his peace at times. Especially when there's injustice. And that's definitely an injustice, guys. But that has been cat and mouse. It's a very difficult part. But if you do it that way and isolate enemies and go through the bridge at certain times and stay back at others, you will succeed um, if you have the proper amount of skills and if you bring those skills to the table. Okay? Take care.